Hey everyone, welcome to part 5 of the HTML Pro series of tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do PHP contact form submission, I'm going to be showing you how to implement it into the HTML templates that we've already got, and I'm also going to be showing you a demonstration of how the contact form works. You can download the PHP scripts required in this by going to the link in the description bar which is down below. So let's get started. Okay guys, so we've got our files, but we've also got a new one now. We've got contact.php. So I'm going to open this up uh, in Dreamweaver. This is uh, the PHP script which I've typed up. So this is what you can download in the uh, description bar below. I'm going to run you through it. Okay, so it starts off with email 2. This is where we are going to uh, send the email address. As you can see, this is the email address that's going to receive it. As you can see, it's already on mine, but we can you can type in whatever your email address is. So me at myhost.com. But for now, I'm going to leave it as mine so I can show you a demonstration later. So edsjohnson at gmail.com. This is the email subject. Obviously, you can change that again to whatever you want. Um, so this is the subject. Uh, you don't have to put dot 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 at the end. I just do that with subjects for email. I just do because I'm sad. Um, <laughs> So, uh, and then we come on to function died. Now this is the error. This is the error messages that we're, are gonna be displayed if something goes wrong with the contact form. Um, you don't really need to change any of this at the moment. Um, I'm just gonna explain it. Basically it's displaying error, the uh, syntax, the PHP syntax for error, which we're gonna go on and create later on. But it's gonna be displaying everything like that. And it's gonna be echoing it to you guys if there's an error appearing. So this is the validation. So this is basically checking that everything is all here. So the name, the email and the comments. Um, and it's just checking that we're, it's going to post all of them successfully. And again died, so something went wrong. There was an issue with posting those three, uh, those three uh, bits of data I suppose. Then we come on to the, uh, the three bits of data that we want to post. So name, email from and comments. All three of them are required because it links back. Um, so if they're not there, here are the error messages that we got. So if there's an error message with the uh, the email address, so email from, it'll say the email address you entered does not uh, appear to be valid. So there's something wrong with that. Um, again, with the name, the name you entered does not appear to be valid. And again, with the comments. And it's saying if, uh, if that's happening, go back to died, which is where it displays the error at the top of the page. A uh, bit below, we've got the uh, email message. Sorry, um, yep, yeah, the email message. So the details, um, and this is if it's good. If it's all good, this is what it's going to send. It's going to send the email message with the name, the email, and the comments, and it's got a line break between each one of them. So that's what's going to appear in the email message in, in the in the email message sent to us. And lastly, we've got create email headers. So this is basically creating the headers for the email. Um, so the subject, the email message, where it's sending from, who it's sending to. Um, so that's all good. We're going to save that now, and we're going to uh, minimize this, and uh, we're going to go and we're going we're going back to our contact form which we created last time. So open with Dreamweaver. Now I've changed this slightly since the last video tutorial. As you can see here, I'm going to make it a bit wider so you can see it more clearly. Um, here is our email form that we created. So name, email, and message. On the code, I've changed it slightly. So in the message uh, text area, it now says name equals comments. This is really important that you add this, guys. Um, and obviously, the name email is email, and the name is name for the other two inputs. But it's really important you change that um, because it matches up with the PHP scripts that we've got. Um, so that is our email. Now we can below the PHP scripts, we can actually add content. So this is what's going to appear if the uh, PHP script goes to plan and everything goes OK. So basically we're starting uh, from scratch because the PHP is above the HTML programming that we've got, the HTML script. So we're just, we're just entering our HTML script, so body, uh, center, we're going to centrally align uh, whatever text we want to appear. So your message was sent successfully. Uh, you can put your message was sent even. So you can put whatever you want in here below the PHP, any HTML that you want. Um, and we're going to save that now. So we've now got all of our content. Um, that's all fine. We are now going to upload it onto the internet because unfortunately PHP is not supported on a computer. Um, I'm going to quickly go back to the contact page. Sorry, I've forgotten something. Right. The action for the form, it was mail to. 
We're now doing it through PHP, so we're just simply linking it to ph contact.php, um, so the PHP script page. So we're going to save that now, and we're going to upload it onto uh, a, onto my file uh, through an FTP onto uh, my website. Um, so we're going to upload all the files for the website now. PHP does not run on a computer unless you've got PHP installed. So I'm simply running it off through uh, through the internet through a host. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome and I'm going to give you a demonstration now of the website of the form in action. So edsjohnson dot com forward slash tutorials forward slash index dot html. So as you can see, our website is now being displayed. That's all appearing. You can go onto that link and it'll still work now. I'm not going to take it down. Um, so we've got a contact form. I'm going to quickly fill this in for you guys. So you've got the name, you've got the email. So I'm just going to enter in e info at javamp3.com. That's another email um, running through one of my websites. Does this contact form work? I press send and it went to contact or PHP and it says your message was sent successfully. Brilliant. So if we go into gmail.com, we'll see if it really has sent. I'm going to quickly log in um, into my login and password for Google Mail. And uh, it's loading. I've got uh, two new messages. I've got one from Louis Taylor on Facebook. Thanks for that, Louis. Um, and then I've got the message, the contact form message. It has sent successfully. So contact form. We're going to open this up now, and you'll see it's got my the name, the email, and the comment. So that's all working really well. That's perfect. That's exactly what I entered, and it has sent. And it says form details below. That's exactly what we wanted. So that's all running perfectly. That's brilliant. So if we go back, um, obviously that's all working fine. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget you can download the PHP script in the link in the description bar below. Please don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and of course subscribe. Bye for now.